And you say that a lot, so let me just put you on the spot. Give us a three-point plan or program, because you always say it can happen to everyone else. Let's see what we have tried. <laughs> just give us three things that you've done in your career that you know for sure if somebody else did, they can make it to. Can I point out one, one of my favorites? Sure. You always speak up. Tiwa Savage will always speak up. It doesn't matter whether she gets in trouble with, in trouble with Beyonce or other people. Tiwa always shares her story, shares her, with her fans, she replies to messages. And for me, a person who speaks out and doesn't keep their story or their life to themselves, that's powerful. Thank you. Thank you. Gets me in trouble a lot. But thank you. Um, I don't know if I have three, I think I have just one, and that's just never give up, as cliche as it may seem. I'm sure you guys are not 42, so um, I'm 42, and I'm still doing this. I started very late in my music career, so I mean, if that doesn't inspire you, I don't know what else will. If I'm 42, and I'm about to headline a show as a female artist in Uganda, again, that has to inspire you. Like, take your time. Take your time. And I look good for 42 too, so. <laughs> Can we give it up for Tiwa not being afraid to share her age? I hope, I hope some of us Ugandans will pick up on that. I, I, I can't even hide it because all the time they call me to book my flights. If I try to hide it, all the, all the promoters will expose me by now. <laughs> I'm sure my passport is flying around everywhere. But yeah, so. Just, uh, and just never give up. I don't care if you are married, if you are a single parent, or you don't have kids, or you're going to school first. I don't care. The only thing I will tell you is never give up. Mm. Powerful. Never. Yeah. Never stop. Thank you. I want to, first of all, share my condolences to you. May your father's soul rest in peace. And you're welcome to Uganda. I know. Yes. This being a closed date, it's a bit of a sensitive time. So you're welcome here. The last time you were here, what would you say was your favorite delicacy? I'm pretty sure they tried to introduce you to Rolex, Jimmy, Luombo. There's many things they could try to put put you on. So what would you say you ate that you liked? I didn't even try. I, I was literally here for less than 24 hours. Ali, Ali, bye. <laughs> right? Leo does it. Actually had, and then I felt sick. <laughs> I felt sick after my performance. I have oh, pictures, sorry. my legs were so swollen. Mm. So I felt I felt really sick. We had to leave immediately after, so I didn't even get to. So maybe I will either leave or not after. Tomorrow. There's always time to eat. So maybe Make today, it yeah. I recommend something for us. Ha, Sheraton Kampala. Do you have a, a toke wobe zet with like, you know, the wombo, vinyewa and ginats? What can your chef whip up? <laughs> The chef does uh, very good. Mm -hmm. Nice. I like that. Thank you, Tina. You should try the Rolex. The Rolex? Yeah, Rolex yeah. will love it. Yeah. The Rolex. Yeah. I see one of the chefs there. I can see his hand. So, uh, William. Okay. So, please, we have Rolex for dinner. Tomorrow or tonight. Or so, oh, tomorrow or tonight. Whenever you want. <laughs> wow. Fantastic. You should try it. I like that. Thank you, Tima Savage, uh, for answering some of those questions. Uh, any final remarks, anything you want to say to you, as we buy our tickets, fix our outfits last minute, you know, take off our shoes and get ready to turn up. Um, yeah, what can you tell the people? You can also introduce uh, your partner. Yes, sir? My partner? I think the person you came with. I didn't mean it like that. Sorry. Holy, holy. Breezy, he's the shutdown king, the number one hype man in the world, not just Africa. He's my right hand man. Anyone who doesn't have a hype man is on a long thing. He is more than a hype man, actually, he's an entertainer. And he will be entertaining you guys tomorrow. So let me welcome the number one, Jay Breezy. Two now. <laughs> Sample them. Oh, yeah, well, you got it. You already know. Best believe that the queen is in the building. We've been on the road for about 14 weeks now, and for every single show, 
We've been giving them 100 percent two hours back performance. So you gotta definitely will not be left out. And we've been waiting for this show for so long. And now we're here. We brought, we brought all the old band. Every single member of the band is here. And tomorrow we're gonna kill it. You guys come out. America already saw it, Europe saw it, so it's time for Africa to shine. Right. And we're gonna shine bright, all right? Good to hear from you, Jay Frizzy. Uh, you sold a good dream. We shall be. Trust me, it's a good dream. Like some of us are leaving the shoes at home. Yeah, we're, yes, com no we're coming the way to what dance the last time. Yeah. Take a leave from the no shoes. Can I wear no shoes? Can I have please? Shoes? Always. You're welcome. Will you will be joining you on stage? Uh, 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 so let me ask before I release you. Are you an African African mom? Are you an African mom? No, I'm an African African. Sis. <laughs> 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 Am I? Yes. <laughs> 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 Thank you so much, Tiwa Savage. Ladies and gentlemen, Tiwa Savage will be on stage tomorrow with amazing Ugandan musicians. You've got Winnie, Waji, Vinka, Karo Kasita, Laika, Lamu, Sandra Sumi, DJs Alicia, DJ Zato. It's going to be beautiful. All female. And I'm very happy that you could come out tonight and uh, celebrate the fact that we have a queen doctor. <laughs> coming to the stage and yeah I'd like to say thank you to the partners one more time thank you JK thank you she has squeak and the moment she talks about having a hype man on stage I saw Karo Kasita taking notes I'm like yeah so this is good when when because um, when you see someone like I expose she's been Europe America and her being here and what she's telling her story and you guys are picking up and uh, as Pepsi you know she's our ambassador and uh, best friend as well, Wizkid. And uh, as Pepsi, even going back um, many, many years ago, we saw the Nigerian bubble that was going to burst and realized that it's going to be massive. We brought Peace Square to Uganda, Pepsi. They had one song, This Temptation, little, little. we promoted them, and now they're super, superstars. Not just them, as Pepsi, you know, it's music. We kept on bringing the Nigerians. And when you speak to a Nigerian superstar, they'll tell you Uganda is a vibe. Just last week we had uh, Gold, again Pepsi. This week we have, next week we have Chris Daniels. So, uh, as much as Ugandan, Ugandans love you, you talked of a collabo. I promise, not just a collabo, but also inviting them to perform with you in Nigeria. Salvador is a big star because he has a godfather called Basket Mouth. They take him for shows in Nigeria. I'd love to see you go with Shiba, with Karo, to your Nigerian show and say, hey, we have a collab. Let me introduce to you Shiba. Let me introduce you to Winnie. This is my sister from Uganda. If you do that for us, as Pepsi, we shall always, you know, support you. I just want to say now, it's done deal. As long as Pepsi, you guys cover all our logistics. We're there, right? Yeah. Pepsi covers our logistics, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get the collab first. Let's get that collab. And, and the good thing, our artists, you, you pay them with the exposure. Uh, the, one of the most beautiful things I admire about Tiwa is she she pulls the females out every single time and won't let us slack. So that's beautiful. Thank you so much for coming out tonight. Uh, my name is Maritza. I was your host. Let's enjoy.